Jake Paul, huh? He can't just seem to keep quiet, can he? He seems to have the opposite problem with PewDiePie, where instead of everyone trying to cancel him and him not doing anything for it, he seems to do everything that deserves to be canceled, and nothing seems to really happen to him. Whether it be him trying to scam kids out of their money with his websites, trying desperately for bigger celebrities to notice him because his 15 seconds of fame are gone and he can't accept that fact, or releasing more crappy songs that no one cares about. Like literally he made a new song called Fresh Out London and no one cared. Like making fun of Jake Paul's songs used to be the big thing on YouTube to do and now he's so relevant that people don't care about it anymore. Even put London in the title, and if you know anything about your Jake Paul lore, is that London is located where his favorite city is. Now if you clicked on this video, you probably heard of Jake Paul's house getting raided in California. This was also apparently a joint effort by not only the SWAT teams, but also the FBI. When this happened a few days ago, all of the internet was left to speculate for themselves. All we knew was that obviously his house was being raided, and that a lot of guns were being taken out of the house. Now obviously when someone's house is getting raided and a lot of weapons are taken out, like rifles and all that, people are gonna worry. Obviously people are worried that not only someone like Jake Paul, a man who's burnt furniture in his pool and has made his neighborhood a living hellhole, has guns, let alone a lot of them. People are gonna have their own theories to what is happening right now and I had my own. Personally I believe that he's funding an army. You know how Jake Paul calls his fans Jake Paulers? Which is a great name by the way. It's like if I called my fans the prison mate Lukers. My little theory was that he was sick and tired of people bullying him online for all the stuff he does. So he was building an army depot in his house to arm his subscribers. So that he could finally rise against the system that has oppressed him for so long and finally show that no one can stop the Jake Paulers. Now unfortunately I was wrong. There are more news articles right now about what happened that actually give reasons for the raid. Because there are multiple reasons for it actually. Now if you're wondering why I did cover this a couple days ago, it's because I was making my Onision stuff. Now, although Jake Paul's significant drop in relevancy nowadays, he is still a lot more relevant than Onision has ever been throughout his career. It's just that I didn't want to make people wait for it anymore. And I did set a light goal and I didn't want people to wait for it so long. And now I know to never set light goals again because you're only going to have regret. One of the reasons he got raided apparently is because what him and his friends did a couple months ago during the riots. When the George Floyd protests started a couple months ago, there were also a lot of people rioting at that point. So, like, when it was happening, it was really bad. Like, there was a lot of rioting and looting going on. And although that's died down, back in May, that's when it was at its peak. Now, you might be wondering why him and his friends were involved. When the riots reached California, or more specifically Scottsdale, it hit a mall there, and that mall got looted. And Jake Paul, in his infinite wisdom, decided that it would be a good idea for him to go there for the hell of it. Now, although he's never really said why he went down there, whether it was to loot or just watch, I don't know, he was charged for breaking into the mall. Now if I were to guess why he would go there, I would say he was trying to look like a hero, trying to paint himself as like a BLM figurehead or whatever, willing to sacrifice himself for the cause. Doesn't really work when all he's doing is like not even looting or protesting, he's just there. It also doesn't help that he's just a plain bad person who's done a lot of things and this is obviously just for clout. And he's also also done many racist things, like that one time he said the n-word, or that one time a fan from Kazakhstan came to him and he said that the fan was going to blow up, get the nuke. Look, I'm from Kazakhstan originally, but oh. it sounds like you're just gonna blow someone up. Thank you so much. You're like, send the nuke. Some people are saying Jake Paul is making a racist joke about Kazakhstan because that's where the Soviet Union used to test its nukes. I would say no because Jake Paul is definitely not smart enough to know that. I say he was just calling the kid a terrorist because that name sounds Middle Eastern enough to probably be in the Middle East. But he's part about this whole thing was he was originally charged with only a misdemeanor for trespassing, but that was dropped for a full-on federal investigation, which can actually lead to a significant amount of jail time if he gets found for anything. Anyways, despite it being a couple months since this happened, that happened in May and only now are the police searching his place for like evidence or something. I assume the police waited for the news to die down so it wouldn't be a big controversy when they went after Jake Paul, but like I said, I don't really know. And I feel like if the police were to arrest Jake Paul, people would be more happy with the police. <laughs> Another reason could be the recent parties he's been throwing, because he's not supposed to be having large gatherings of people because it's illegal and it's especially bad in California because people like him don't care about the coronavirus. So they keep having big gatherings of people and getting a lot of people infected. This is illegal and can land him in a lot of jail time for killing people. Not like intentionally, but still. But I feel like this is more fuel to the former than another reason why they're doing it now. Like uh, they're speeding it up because he's causing a lot of damage to people. Because he refuses to stop throwing parties for no reason. Although this is stuff we already knew for a while. 
the whole party thing's been going on for around a month, and May was like five months ago. Although now there's new stuff coming out about Jake Paul that we didn't know before this. Something that we definitely didn't know, and I didn't know this until these articles came out, is that he apparently owes a $2 million tax lien to the government he hasn't paid. If you didn't know what that means, lien, I didn't know what it meant either, I had to Google it. It means that if someone doesn't pay a debt, then that person or company that has possession of their property can just keep it for themselves. Now obviously owing debt to the government means you're gonna have to pay eventually, especially when it's over $2 million worth of tax. Tax, mind you, that was due last year, so I don't know why he's gone away with it for so long, and why the government did go after him sooner. Now, I don't know what the government can hold against him. Maybe they can kick him out of his mansion and, like, lease it to other people. Because I bet there'd be a decent amount of people that'd be like, oh, that's the Jake Paul mansion, I want to rent it, or whatever. Now, is it shocking to see Jake Paul going through some financial issues and a massive amount of debt? Not really. He's like Hammerman or those other musicians from the past. He got big quick, making clickbaity stuff and really bad vlogs. And spent it quick, buying Lamborghinis or whatever. And now he's not making enough money to live this lifestyle anymore. Advertisers don't want to work with him anymore. They stopped doing stuff like that since Logan Paul's incident. His music doesn't sell anymore. I mean, look at all the views he gets compared to what he used to. And he only gets relevant in the news when he's losing. Like when a controversy happens. Or when he's going to jail. So it's not like he's gaining a lot from this. What I find funny is I looked at his most recent video to see if he made any posts about this. And he hasn't. Not even on Twitter. If you look at his most recent video, most of the comments are just people laughing at him about how he got raided. And also, if you're curious like I was why they were taking guns out of his house, Jake Paul wasn't arming a private army, unfortunately. Instead, him and his friends are idiots and just leave long guns around the house everywhere. If you don't know what long guns are, those are like rifles and shotguns. Anything that's not a pistol, I'm pretty sure, because you can't really own SMGs legally, I'm pretty sure. Not only is it kind of scary to think that people like Jake Paul and his friends are armed with so many guns, like enough to worry people, that's how many guns they had. But they just leave them all over their mansion. One was just leading against the jacuzzi that he owns. Just randomly for no reason. By the way, the police took them out of the house because they have a rule against leaving guns around the place they search. So if Jake Paul would have just put him in a safe or something, it would have been fine. But he literally leaves him around the mansion. And he can get him back when he gives like proof that he bought it, but knowing Jake Paul, he might not have even bought those guns. And this makes it especially disturbing to realize how many videos he has of just clickbaiting kids coming to his house to do stuff. And you realize how he just leaves guns all over the place. So it's just like you leave guns for all the kids you invite over just to see and probably use if he left them alone. And Jake Paul is not a responsible guardian, I can guarantee you that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's been a risk at one point. Since, especially since I can guarantee you that at least some of these guns were loaded. I would not put it past Jake Paul to have these guns loaded around the house because him and his friends are just like that. And uh, that's all we really know about Jake Paul right now and his situation. Eventually I'll probably make a response to this either on Twitter or YouTube. Probably a terrible one where he says he did all of this for Black Lives Matter or something just to try to save face. What a progressive. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. This one's a little short, but that's because there's not a lot to talk about. Jake Paul being a bad person is nothing new, and as much as I would love to milk his name, Jake Paul's relevance died years ago, to the point that makeup channels are now the main thing, like Jeffree Star or James Charles. He was trending on Twitter today, actually. I can't make a video about this because it's not really relevant, and when I checked back up on it, it wasn't really relevant then. He got in trouble on Twitter today because he said that person who doesn't make makeup should make a makeup palette, even though he never really called out Shane Dawson for it. Also, it doesn't help that the person he called out was like African American, so you know, it's kind of like, why would you let Shane go away with it and not. By, by the way, I don't think he was being racist about it, but you know, it's not a good look, and he, he should know that people are just gonna try to make him look bad, so I don't know why he still has a Twitter. But I don't think he was generally trying to be a racist or anything. Shane Dawson made a palette. He did it with Jeffree Star, so it's kind of like he had someone with it. I'm only mentioning this because one, I feel like James Charles gets enough stuff from everyone. And I'm never gonna make a video about this because it's already dead, but I always feel like when I see something I'm not gonna make a video on, I should at least mention it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you're wondering why uh, James Charles is in the tags, that's why. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.